Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here and I was sleeping. I just woke up and saw this tweet by Manu Kumar Jain. The ever so customized for India, specially customized for India devices, the Mi 11X series have been launched in India and have a look at that freaking incredible price starting at only rupees 29,999 for the 6 GB and 128 GB variant. <sighs> he is bullshitting you. He is trying to make a fool out of you. He is blatantly lying to you. That is what this dude right here on your screen is doing. This is not an incredible price. Right here on screen are the prices of this Mi 11X. But wait, before that, let us go to the official website. So here it is, me.com slash n. This is Mi India, Mi 11X. And if you scroll down, here we are still on the page. The E4 AMOLED display which they are talking about, right? Have a look at this. Poco. These fools forgot to change the fact that this is now being launched as a Mi device. It still says Poco over here. This, my dear friends, Mi 11X, this is a rebranded Redmi K40 from China or what they are selling as the POCO F3 in Indonesia, Pakistan and in Europe. So, goes on to show you how super intelligent they are. Now, coming back to my other point and of course for this I would like to thank one of my Twitter followers who sent me a screenshot of this on Twitter. But here on screen are the prices of this POCO F3 Redmi K40 Mi 11X whatever you want to call it in different places. Have a look at the Chinese price. Translation of that price right now at the current Yuan price is something like 2400 something. You add 18% GST. It comes out to 27,265. And because I am a generous person, Manu Kumar Jain, if you were really honest about it, I would have given you a tip of 234.99 Indian rupees so that your eventual price comes out to 27,499.99. But you are a blatant liar. You want us to pay more than what it is with if you're importing the device fully from china plus adding 18 percent gst heck even pakistan gets a better deal than us in terms of pricing i mean you should be really ashamed of yourself do note european prices are always on the higher side so that might not be a fair comparison but it is really shameful to see that even pakistan gets a better deal on the POCO F3 or the Mi 11X or the Redmi K40, I don't know how many rebrands you're gonna do of the same device, but it is really shameful to see that even Pakistan gets a better deal than us Indians on this device. Add to that, the Mi 11 Ultra, which as per India today, is being imported from China, right? That device, if you do a price conversion from Chinese to Indian even without adding the 18% GST is cheaper in India as compared to China. Oh my god this is like very ridiculous but it shows what Xiaomi India is doing over here and your glorified salesman who this dude is retweeting but before that I would really like to thank them for stuff they're doing on oxygen that is something which is really very great and needs to be appreciated for xiaomi india and of course i do recommend everybody to keep their masks on do not go outside until and unless it is absolutely necessary times are not good right now but anyways these glorified salesmen people who sell out for like a few bucks allegedly he's retweeting them they are like oh competitive pricing how the heck is this competitive and here is this guy again 
You will take better pictures? Are you Xiaomi camera are crap, dude? Which world are you living in? And here, this is the dude from XDA. Ex excellent pricing, he says. Mr. Mehta, you. What should I say? Allegedly, all of you are just glorified salesmen who sell out for a few bucks and then you're rather good off licking a bull's balls, I would say. I mean, be truthful to the people who make you popular. This dude is just here, Manu Kumar Jain, he's just here to retweet you and send you free devices. You f sell out your soul for a free device. That is the level at which you guys are. Nobody is gonna call them out for their overpriced Mi 11X Redmi K40. Why? Because the next time they won't get a free device. And this dude, of course, Manu Kumar Jain, he's there to sell his own device. He's not gonna retweet wherein people are criticizing him for the price. But if you want to see the reaction of the people, the real people, have a look at the Twitter replies. That is where you have great comments, overpriced, first one right and then of course there's this keyboard warrior who wants says you want it for free are if it is overpriced it is overpriced doesn't mean i'm asking it for free nothing in the world is free and then there's this guy who did the calculation like me right he's saying that even if you add 18 percent gst it comes to 26k whereas in the current pricing it comes to 27 200 something and i know there will be some of you who are gonna comment that hey manchi we can get it for a discount with the hdfc card well not everybody on earth in India has a HDFC card to get that discount. And I'll tell you what the strategy here is. The strategy here, my friends, is that if you want anything below 21K, right, then you either get Redmi or a Poco, the Redmi Note 10 series or the Poco X3 Pro. Gamers go for Poco X3 Pro, and then those who want good screen, they get the Redmi Note 10 series. Now. There's no good competition in the 25 to 30 range. So Xiaomi is like trying to get as much profit as possible by overpricing the Mi 11X in India. That is what they're trying to do over here. Because clearly you're not importing it from China, right? You are assembling it in India, which means you have a lot of margin over here. And I am pretty sure this time around, Xiaomi had like previously made a promise that they're gonna sell phones at 5% profit margin. I don't think so that is the case with Mi 11X. It is clearly overpriced device. The only advantage, the only advantage they might have is they have good custom ROM support. But at this price point, I don't think so they will have good custom ROM support because developers are not gonna shell out 30 grand for a device. My personal advice, the wait for other devices in the Snapdragon 870 series like the IQ, Ooze and the Realmes. But as I mentioned earlier, they do not have good custom ROM support and most people, most people who want to flash a custom ROM on a Xiaomi device is because they are sick of MIUI and how it is optimized and how it performs. That is why they want custom ROMs. Very simple. People buy a Xiaomi phone just to unlock the bootloader and then install a custom ROM but at this price I would be surprised if you know at 30 grand Indian rupees the Mi 11X goes super popular among the developers and and before I forget they also want to plug in the Redmi gaming phone which is launching with the MediaTek processor pretty soon they want to plug it in somewhere between 20 to 30k so I think 25k or 27k would be a sweet spot for that right even though it is a MediaTek device and again MediaTek devices don't have good custom ROM support either so Xiaomi Xiaomi India and this dude here bullshit price and they are just milking the cow the customization for india oh yeah another point heck man manu kumar jain you removed the nfc right does the mi 11x have nfc like the redmi k40 no right so that is another price saving which you could have passed on to the customer but you you are allegedly super greedy and you're trying to over Indian people by lying to them blatantly on their face and your glorified salesmen are gonna promote it all day long on YouTube and on the blogs. Why? Because they will sell out for a free device.